very big herd of hartebeest. There's no, we're within range from here, but there's no place to lie down here. We just walk to that, get behind that big tree there, and we're on top of this rise here, and we get the video shot from there. 700 yards an hour, John. Go to this tree in front of us, then we'll definitely get a place there where we can lie down. And holds only half a minute so basically you know put it in the crease of the shoulder not on the shoulder just come back on the crease of the shoulder okay great it dropped its head perfectly let's just watch it yeah it's down it just rolled there it's great shot john 670 nice 670, nice shot to start the day here. Uh, got into a good position here and shot an old Hardebeast cow. It's a good management animal. We chose an old cow out the herd and perfectly executed shot. It, it turned with the herd, came, and I could see it was a good shot though. And she maybe ran 50 yards and just tipped over there when the herd moved. So good job, Yant. There's turn, the first right mm -hmm. animal. Increase the shoulder, squeeze the shoulder. Good shot, good hit, good hit. Slowing down. The shot, partner. Thank you. Down. Ooh. Well, there's a productive little spot here. Yeah. Shade of the tree, took out a couple hard of these old cows out the herd here. Good position. The good shot, Ridge, it's a 675. Well guys, we came out this morning, we were looking for some blue wildebeest. We saw this big herd of hardebeest and said, listen, let's come behind some trees there. The herd saw us getting in position there. We laid on the shade of the tree and pulled off a good uh, duet there. <laughs> so we shot the first cow perfectly, selected an old cow out the herd and uh, she barely went 30, 40 yards, tipped over and the herd stood looking around a bit hesitant. We got Ridge on the gun quickly and we took out a second old cow. So some action from one spot there and took out two old animals from the herd which is necessary. So thanks guys and great shooting. Both shots were roughly around 650. So some good shots this morning. Took out two old animals and fun morning out. a couple years ago when you on your last trip we came up to the Karoo the mountain areas beautiful big open plains big mountains you got yourself a common and a black springback and this trip we decided to add a copper and a white so we've come up from woodlands we're up here it's a beautiful day absolutely breathless and beautiful vistas the grass is looking long and yeah this morning go out and see if we can find the springback that you still missing out of your slab so let's get after it um, it's beautiful weather let's capitalize on that while we're here perfect
come back in front of us and feed up that hill. I did see some right there. If you look through the gap here, there's some females here. Not too far in front of us. Let's just stay behind these trees and just see if we can't find a copper in here. Stands on the chair. Got hammered him. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. <laughs> what a lovely, typical Karoo hunting property with these rolling hills, beautiful grass plains, and lots of springbok around. So, first little walk, we bumped him, he ran around us, and I thought, let's just take a chance and come up here, and we were lucky they were wanting to run around us. So, got a copper, mate. Thank you. Let's go. Whew. Copper springbok, Rich. Oh yeah. So I said to you, it's got pretty much no white on it, uniformly gold color. Mm -hmm. And yeah, lovely compliment to your other two, you already have the black and the common. So. Number three in your springbok slam, buddy. Oh yeah. Congrats. Lovely shot, but nice like stalking there this morning, walking in and out of the trees. And yeah, he gave us an opportunity when he trotted across amongst the common animals and you took a chance. So well done, Jeff. Nice Thank animal. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Across on that side of mine, we spotted some white spring muck up here. Got a steep little incline. They seem to be more this way, so we're just going to cut the other. The wind's not too good for us here. We're going to cut up on top and loop around them and try to get onto those white spring muck on top there. There's a white spring muck standing here. You just see the back sticking out. The end of your springbok slam. Oh, yeah, <laughs> congrats! Got them all. Let's go. Snow White, eh? Yeah, I mean, to think you a few years ago you shot the black and common, and um, this time you said, No, if I'd like to take a copper and a white. So, we completed your slam here this morning. Lovely old white springbok ram, and yeah, we found this lone ram by himself. We saw and approached a herd of females earlier. And I couldn't find a ram in there, but it was super long stuff. You just seen kind of their backs and that feeding in the long grass and the trees there. But yeah, we came across a really nice animal and yeah, we dropped him right there. So yeah. that is your springbok slam complete, my friend. Thank you. You're most welcome. <laughs> strong wind in our face worked out well for us here. Right. <laughs> we came here and luckily they just gave us enough time panicking, but all you can see is the neck. I mean, not an easy shot to pull off in a bit of a crosswind. 
probably 100 yards standing in the tall grass. But common spring back down. Let's check it out. There we go, John. Lovely common springback ram. It's our national animal. And yeah, we've had a tremendous day out here in the mountains. Yeah, it's not very often you come in, there's almost no wind. We've got Reggie on a copper this morning and then a white. And then we saw this nice common ram decide to take him. So great morning out in the country springback hunting and congratulations. Thanks, thanks. Welcome. stand here. It's now about 4.30 in the afternoon. We're just going to sit out in silence for a while. We've chosen this position because up here we've got a valley going away from us there and a valley straight away and one going down back behind us. So the convergence of three valleys here and the water up this way and a pond of water there. So I'm hoping that this will be a good spot to find kind of jackal living in this area close to water. There's a lot of game and we're covering a big territory out our corn. So we're just gonna sit quietly here, put two guns set up watching the spot in front of us, and hopefully we can call something in before dark. Jackal waited right till dark before coming in and it sat here 30 yards from the corner between the trees staring at it. It's a female. Female. Good condition. See the beautiful black back there Ridge? Yep. They call the black back jackal. Sunning themselves, so we're going to keep moving and see what we come across. But hopefully, we can find a kudu or a bushwhack or something like that, or maybe a walk dog feeding out common tigers. So we still have a fair deal of this. Let's just move on along the ridge here and see what we can come across.
very relaxed, basically straight behind this tall tree from us. Let's see if we can there. I'm just gonna look here, what we're gonna do. It's about 280 yards from us. Just sneak a bit forward. I'm gonna get you nice and solidly set up sitting on the shooting sticks. So we're gonna have you sitting down, we'll anchor your arms nice, you're gonna be like a 250 yard shot, okay? Just stay low. Right. Shot, my buddy. Great job, Ridge. Ridge, that's your best shot of safari, man. Not the further shot, but the best. You know why? Because we're sitting on very awkward position here, yeah? and that's why you come and hunt is you can learn to do things like that. Good job, partner. Thank you. You listened well. You crushed that kudu pool right there. 320 yards. You didn't go anywhere. Different setup. We haven't shot like this before, so you learned a lot right there, and you pulled it off perfectly, man. Thank you. Good job. Didn't move a single step. Dropped him right here. Well, Ridge, that is your second kudu. It's a management bull. It's an ancient bull, but it had never developed its uh, proper full curl or anything, so it's a good one to take out. And a very old guy. You see how skinny he is and everything. So, yeah, we've really taken a nice mix of trophy and management animals this trip. And yeah, that was a perfect shot. A difficult setup on the side of that slope there, no no prone shot there, and you pulled it off well, my man. I'm proud of you. <laughs> on the shoulder, dropped him right there, like a pro. Thank you. You're welcome, my man. Himself up the hill, which is quite short and stumpy, quite thick horns, and then there's a nice, very nice ram dominating the females. And I just saw it trot and chase a little young ram away from them. All these females, they're just walking up this route here. So basically I'm putting the crosshairs almost on its head. Yeah, just a little bit less than that. Give it about three quarters of a minute. Okay. We're at the shop we're just over the top. So it's stay. No, no, he's down. You hit to behind the shoulder, John. Sorry, that 28 must have missed the ribs and whistled clean through. Wow, that was quite odd to see a cloud of dust about six feet above him. He's down. He's done, Johnny. Nice. <laughs> that was very strange. You must have, the, the wind call was spot on, tucked it behind the shoulder, bullet whistled clean through. Um, wow. It, or, or part thereof, of evidently, given that cloud of dust behind him. I thought you shot high at first, but no, it looked over the top. That was spot on. Perfect! 
Great job, so there's 600 yards. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Didn't go far, went about five yards. Now, oh, Pepper, relax. Ancient, ancient mountain reed bugs. See that secondary growth there? Mm -hmm. Rock hard bases ancient ram we found them lying up here with a female and a young ram and yeah it was a nice shot it was just a nice setup I see he's got a lot of scars and things on him here broken back rubia from fighting and yeah we set up there 600 yards minute wind tight quarter and we actually got a pass through we hit here through and the dust at the angle it's weird that the kind of where we were at our perception looked like it really hit high, high really high and no he stumbled forward and tipped over so got a mountain reed back something different we've seen a few and this morning we were hunting all these hills here high up above the canyons and we've seen a few and then yeah we eventually found the right one we wanted to take so Perfect. good job thanks Dex. appreciate it you're welcome <laughs>
thought maybe he's going to take off, but he fell over right there. I mean, he didn't go five yards, which was very impressive. So that shot was spot on. And yeah, just tremendous shot to see how, where you've come from this week. To the shots we're taking now, it's unbelievable, man. So congratulations. Thank you, Steve. You're most welcome. Well, John and Rich, it's four years later and I, I certainly would never have guessed that we would have pulled off some of the shots we have in the safari. And it's been tremendous. We've shot multiple shots well over a thousand yards. Both of you getting over a thousand yard shots. It's unbelievable how far you've come, Rich. We young little boy a few years ago, and look at you now, a grown man and making really tough shots. And it's really awesome to see you know, how much you've grown as a hunter taken some fantastic management and trophy animals the safari and it's been a pleasure so let's not be four years later till you come back let's make it sooner and have another adventure sticks it's been a pleasure to be back here for our second trip and after our first one i thought oh my gosh it's not going to get better than this and you guys continue to outdo yourself every time we've been here and uh, it's just been a great experience obviously this property at woodlands has been just I mean, it's been an epic hunt, like you said. We've shot uh, some really hard shots, some long shots, some beautiful animals, and some good management animals, and uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you. You guys are most welcome.